So I'm going to Estonia. So I'm on the boat at the moment and this is a very like random trip. We just decided to book the tickets yesterday, last night. Um, so we haven't prepared anything for the trip. Like we don't know where to go, what to eat, what to do and stuff. We just knew that um, there was a Christmas market in Tallinn, the old town in Estonia and we wanted to visit there. We don't even know about the transportation so we don't know if we have to buy tickets or whatever. Um, oh and also we bought this uh, wristband if you feel uneasy and you feel like you want to vomit or something then you can go to the front desk and ask them if they have anything to prevent that feeling and they will give you this and it costs like 16 euros for one wristband like this which is quite expensive i would say Can someone tell me what is the purpose of these black balls? <laughs> it's a black ball bar. <laughs> After searching for a while, we decided to go to this ramen restaurant. What is it called? Uh, what? <laughs> Say it. Canopy ramen bar. <laughs> yeah, we go in there to have ramen for lunch. I hope it's good because I'm hungry.
There are lots of cute coffee shops and restaurants here that I just want to stop and buy everything, eat everything. <laughs> But I thought this is a bookstore, but then it says here it's a bar. <laughs> uh, look at how gorgeous the menus are, the dedication. Look at this. Look. Ice cube with elegant. <laughs> yeah, ice cube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can take this. You have to pick the broth. You can choose miso, soyu, or shio. I am impressed. The food smells so good. Okay, I ordered one lemonade, but I didn't know they put soda in it. Very crispy. It's a bit salty, but you have this sauce. This mayonnaise with chili. Chili what? Chili mayo. To balance it out. So it's not bad. Look at the size of the bowl. I asked for the broth to be very spicy, so let's go. <laughs> I didn't know I could eat ramen this good in Estonia. <laughs> Ừ. 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 Cái, cái, cái mini ra mình để trong trong cái 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 này này mà ăn gấp từ mấy năm nó tắt ra được đó. He asked for a swim ramen and now he wants my book pieces. I demand. The pork belly melts in his mouth. 
You can tell that the egg has been marinated long enough. I'm begging you. No more pork belly for you. I'm begging you. Ridiculously delicious. No more wow, will it? Oh, no more. No more wow, will it? Okay, I am having a food coma. I literally had to open one button of my pants. <laughs> I am happy and my belly is happy. <laughs> so we are heading to the next destination, which is a souvenir shop to buy some souvenirs, obviously. But the restaurant experience is very good. I am very impressed with the food as well as the service and also the design of the restaurant. Oh my God, look at that. The weather is similar to Helsinki and it's currently around 3 30 right now. But you can see that it looks like 6 pm. We bought some souvenirs for us and our friends and now we're going to find a coffee shop to sit down for a bit and then we go to the Christmas market before we get back to Helsinki <laughs> You can see how dark it is but it's only 4 p.m. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wanted to check out this bookstore, but it closed. It's closed at five today, but normally during the week <laughs> it closed at seven. <laughs> now we're on our way to go to the Christmas store, ah, Christmas market. <laughs> Why did I say store? <laughs> it's not very crowded here, even though it's Sunday. Should we go? Okay. <laughs> we'll take like um bus tour. A mini car tour. Mini car tour. I don't know what that means, but basically you go on a mini bus and then it takes you. Yeah, about We'll take you around the town to see the Christmas decoration, I think. Is it full? I think so. It's full already. Oh no, we have to wait for another turn. Uh, what sauce do you recommend to eat in this one? Yeah. Scallion. Ham ham no? to sit until it's time to go back to the ship um, we wanted to stay longer at the Christmas market but we are all people <laughs> and we think it's enough <laughs> so we go home we want to go home instead are we old? Enough. <laughs> We're such an old couple. <laughs> when we are sitting at the mall, let's do a quick review of the Christmas market in Tallinn. <laughs> um, what do you want to contribute? It's warm and the house in key. Yeah, it's not as cold as we experienced in Helsinki. Like the last time we went to the Christmas market in Helsinki, it was around minus 6 or 7. And in here it's like 
one or two degrees. One degree. One degree. So it's like very warm. And they have Christmas music on the speaker. Oh yeah. One thing we like about the Christmas market here is that they put on Christmas music, which is very nice. And they don't have that in the Christmas market in Helsinki. This is not like a comparison to like push one down, ah, push one up and like press one down or anything. But we just want to give like a comparison for you to consider which one would you like to visit and like which feature do you expect in each market. The price yeah. here is also more affordable. For example, like the clergy, the red white ring. It was like eight or nine euro in Helsinki, but in here it's like five, six, seven, depend on the places. Six euros. Yeah, and then in Helsinki they have a lot of pie, which is pie. Hard, like salami and cheese. But here mainly their product is like uh, cake and uh, sausages, plus sausages. Oh yeah, sausages. And because the Christmas market space is much more smaller compared to the one in Helsinki so the atmosphere I would say is like more cozy and warm so yeah that's our first overview of the Christmas market also I think first and last overview because we probably won't come back and it's also like 17th of December already so yeah, the Christmas market will close soon, I guess. But it was a very fun experience to go to the Christmas market here and enjoy the Christmas vibe in another country, even though it's very close to Helsinki. But the vibe is completely different. And if you are like us, before we came here, we thought that these two countries are very similar to each other. So we didn't bother to come here because like I thought what would be the point to come here if it's like the same as in Helsinki. I know it's a very like ridiculous assumption, but I did think it that way. And then when we come here, like it's totally different. Like, so if, if you have the same assumption like me, then you should check this place out because it's different. And it's also very special in its, in its own way. So yeah, check it out. We stopped by this random sushi place for dinner because it's um, three hours until we can get back to the boat. So we are hungry and very tired after a long day outside. And one thing that surprised me when I come here is that I see tuna on the menu because in Helsinki, whenever I step foot into any sushi restaurant, all the options, all the options they have is either like vegetarian options or um, salmon and shrimp and even beef but they don't have tuna but here in Estonia they have tuna which is the ingredients that I'm craving for for the last few months very much so yeah of course I had to get myself a dish of tuna sushi So we booked this cabin uh, to rest on the way back and I thought that it was probably quite small and it fits maybe like two people but apparently it's quite spacious and it can fit four people <laughs> which which is like 
quite cheap to me because we booked this cabin for 17 euros 17 yeah 17 euros wow and then it has like this a uh, small bathroom with toilet and a shower and everything oh another mirror wow we can see the sea over here but we probably won't see anything because it's dark outside anyway